straight out of a romantic comedy, y'all. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle looked so in love during a torrential downpour in Dubbo on Wednesday, October 17. The newlyweds, who recently announced they're expecting their first child together, are currently in the middle of a 16-day tour to Fiji, Donga, New Zealand, and of course, Australia. Meghan looked lovingly at her man while holding an umbrella over him during a speech, and he reciprocated the same facial expression in a separate pic. I mean, come on. This these two are just too adorable. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, shared their exciting baby news on Monday, October 15 right before beginning their first leg of the tour. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, Kensington Palace revealed in a statement. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. The, literally perfect-looking, couple attended the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank on Friday, October 12 and Meghan was super sneaky about hiding her baby bump at the special event. I knew she was pregnant when she wore that massive coat, over, the weekend. One user commented on Twitter. I knew Meghan Markle was pregnant when she wore the coat dress to Princess Eugenie's wedding, added another. While hindsight is 2020, the Duchess of Sussex often wears figure-flattering ensembles, and a billowy number seemed a bit odd. In fact, the former Suits actress totally distracted us from her bump just three weeks before announcing the news, by changing up her hairstyle. Instead of rocking her typical curly hair, Meg opted for a sleek straight do, and naturally, the press went wild. After all, it's not every day that a royal decides to switch up her signature hairstyle. In fact, the Duchess' sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, seemingly did the same thing when she was pregnant. Back in September 2017, a Twitter user theorized that Kate uses her hair to distract the media from her growing belly. Pattern as Duchess of Cambridge changes her hairstyle, people concentrate on her head, and, then, she, announces, the, pregnancy, they wrote. Interesting. Speculation aside, one thing's for sure, Harry and Meghan are so freaking in love it hurts. Also, their baby is gonna be drop dead gorgeous. Prince Harry and Meghan are set to tour the new Pound 35 million tech park in Bognor Regis on Wednesday, October 3. Kensington Palace announced that they will begin by visiting Eads House, in West Street, Chichester where they will be shown the rare Sussex copy of the American Declaration of Independence Everything you need to know about their visit to Sussex Becky Hawksford, 22, said, I guess it is interesting to see the royal family is actually in with the UNI. If I'm free I'm definitely going to see them. She added, it's just nice to see they are interested to see the UNI, and said that she didn't see much of the government around. Maria Logo, 21, said, small towns deserve as much attraction as big cities. Bogner and Littlehampton MP Nick Gibb call the visit exciting Reese Mullins, 22, has just graduated and works in the student union, he said, it's exciting, not much happens in Bognor. It's nice that they are coming to this UNI and we don't get a lot of visitors. All the ex-students are very jealous. I would like to be able to see them. Will Clarkson, 19, said he was glad the royal couple were visiting and added, it's nice thing to do. Laura Thorne, 18, said, I think it's interesting that they are getting involved in education. I will try to get to see them. West Sussex leaders thrilled to welcome Harry and Meghan Lucy Alnor. 18, said she was inviting a few of her friends to watch the Duke and Duchess of Sussex open the new tech park. John O'Reilly, 18, who is living on the Wagner Regis campus of Chichester University and said, I'm really excited. I think they're really well suited together. I will be definitely going to Lucy's room to see them. Kizzy Lee, 19, said she was really excited for the royal visit. I can't wait to see the prince. He is my favorite in the royal family. We are all going to Lucy's house. The royal wedding inspired me to go out and get my own prince. I think it shows how humble Harry is that they are going.
Buckingham Palace is selling a replica of Meghan Markle's £200,000 diamond engagement ring with royal fans able to get their hands on the budget version for £30. Royal fans were in awe when Harry proposed to Meghan with a stunning diamond ring, worth a staggering £199,475. But now, the public can buy their own version of the Duchess engagement ring, but at a fraction of the cost. Buckingham Palace is now selling a replica of Meghan's ring on the official royal memorabilia website, the Royal Collection Shop. The ring, called the Buckingham Palace Statement Ring goes on sale for only £30. According to the site, the ring is inspired by the Duchess jewels, and comes with an adjustable band. Meghan's original diamond ring was designed by Harry, and features three diamonds two from Princess Diana's personal collection and one from Botswana, set in a gold band. Royal fans can now buy the stunning replica online, along with a pair of matching earrings and pendant necklace, which are sold for £25 and £30 respectively. The imitation ring will feature three crystals, on an adjustable band made of palladium-plated metal. The Buckingham Palace website reads, The design of this new statement range is inspired by the engagement ring of Meghan Markle. Customers will receive the ring in a white statement box, with Meghan and Harry's initials labeled in gold. A pendant necklace bears the same design as the ring, featuring three crystals attached to a palladium-plated chain. Meghan's ring, designed by Harry's favorite jeweler Cleave & Company, holds a special meaning to him. Speaking about his wife's ring after their engagement announcement, Prince Harry told the BBC, the ring is obviously yellow gold because that's her favorite and the main stone itself I sourced from Botswana and the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewelry collection to make sure that she's with us on this, on this crazy journey together. Botswana is a special place to Meghan and Harry. The pair spent their third date there, as well Meghan's 36th birthday last year. Describing their time in Botswana together, Harry said, we camped out with each other under the stars. She came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. Meghan has become a fashion icon in the UK ever since she started dating Prince Harry, and fans across the country are eager to emulate her sophisticated style. The Duchess outfits easily sell out within hours after she wears them, raking in millions for designers. Fashion experts say the Meghan effect could contribute £150 million to the British fashion industry. David Hay, CEO of the British consultancy firm Brand Finance, said she will quickly match or even surpass the Duchess of Cambridge and her incredible influence on the fashion industry. Prince Harry has mock scolded a newsreader for giving his wife Meghan Markle flowers during a surprise stop on the royal tour. Deviating from their schedule, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex paused to greet the small crowd outside Taranga Zoo this morning. Among the crowd was Nova 969 newsreader Matt de Groot, whom breakfast hosts Fitzy and Whippa had tasked with gifting the $500 bunch of flowers to the parents-to-be. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to stop after de Groot's bouquet caught the eye of Meghan, causing Harry to joke about the size of them. You can't give flowers that big to my wife, what is that all about? Harry joked pointing a finger in mock anger at de Groot. As the crowd laughed Meghan added, thank you for my flowers. De Groot told News.com. Oh he was surprised his last minute plan brought him so close to the royal couple. During an earlier attempt to give the Duke and Duchess of Sussex the flowers outside Admiralty House, police told De Groot he would be crash-tackled by security if he got too close. But outside Taranga Zoo, Meghan and Harry were more than happy to accept the bouquet. She seemed genuinely excited and flattered by the size of the flowers and her people, who were with her, pointed out that she loved the fact that they were huge, De Groot said. Both Meghan and Harry appeared buoyed by the fact that they had announced their pregnancy the night before. Meghan in particular just couldn't stop smiling. Every single person was saying congratulations, de Groot said. She wasn't hiding it, she didn't want to shy away from it. She seemed genuinely enthusiastic about the fact that she could now share the news. Harry was the same.